everyone, welcome back to my channel. So a few days ago I actually received my Coastal Sense Reveal 3 palette and this is their newest edition. There are two other palettes that were released before and I was sent this, I wanted to disclaim this, I was sent this for free to consider but that doesn't like it doesn't change like my opinion I'm gonna tell you my kind of impressions I actually did my makeup with it today so yeah we're gonna see like is it really worth the money is it pigmented is it good quality and everything so if you're interested in this palette if you want to see more about it then just keep watching alright so first I have to say that the palette the cost of the palette is currently $19.95 the reason why I say currently is basically because Coastal Sense all the time and I mean all the time has really great great sales going on and if you follow my channel for a while you will know that I use a ton of Coastal Scents eyeshadows and blushes and everything in my tutorials because what they are mostly like famous for is their pigments and the, the quality of their eyeshadows and overall things that are pigmented like blushes and powder forms are really really good quality I rave about their 252 ultimate eyeshadow palette and I still think it's absolutely incredible even better than the BH Cosmetics one I highly recommend that one and especially if you can get a good deal on it just perfect um, I also really like the service of them just because I live very far away from America and everywhere else so it takes a very long time for a product to get shipped to me so quite often I have problems with things breaking during the shipping process and I never had problems with Coastal Sense they come really carefully wrapped and everything and it was no exception with this palette as you can see it came all really good and in one piece so that's a good thing um, now um, you all know that I love my Coastal Sense original palette as you can see this one is a lot more neutral and I I use this one like to death I really 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 love this one um, it offers a very good mix of neutrals it doesn't really have any bright colors so if you're more on the neutral side, uh, side I definitely recommend getting the original one there is not a single like bad color in this palette and I love it so 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 much I even use some colors to fill in my brows and everything and I just this is like my go-to eyeshadow palette and I absolutely love it so yeah this one was really really good there's also the reveal 2 palette that has more like cool tones and darker richer tones so if you're more into like smoky eyes I definitely think the second edition is a lot better and then we have the third edition one now to my mind, um, I actually played it with it a little bit yesterday and I actually did my makeup with it today. As you can see, I just did a very natural eye. I didn't really experience much, experiment much with the uh, more brighter shades just because I went to school and I didn't want to like look a little bit too uh, daring. But this one actually comes with a bunch of really beautifully kind of rose tones colors. I especially love this grape one, uh, grape colored one. I really think it looks very, very fun. So if you do like a natural eye but you still sometimes want to experiment, I really think that the value of the Coastal Sense, Coastal Sense Reveal 3 palette is really, really good. Um, however, compared to, comparing the quality of this one and the first edition one that I have, is a little bit um, still incredibly pigmented as you can see the colors I'm just gonna like dip my fingers into a few as you can see the colors are really 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 incredibly let me just try to focus yeah so uh, yeah the colors are really really incredibly incredibly pigmented but I will say that I prefer the texture of the eyeshadows on the first one just because they don't seem to be that powdery um, I actually have a blog post up on my uh, blog that I'm going to link right below this video if you want to see more close-up photos of the swatches. Uh, these ones are very rich, very buttery and super super pigmented but they will offer a little bit more fallout than the first edition ones. So that is the only downside but I mean for like $20 and 20 really beautiful shades I don't really mind it. Um, once you really you know carefully blend it in I really don't have like any problems with it I also really love how easy it is to blend the eyeshadows they just melt into each other and they look really nicely so I, I mean overall I really do enjoy the palette I'm going to continue to use it I think for the price it's really good especially if you can get it on sale I think that's really awesome and yeah I'm going to do a few tutorials in the future just to kind of show you the 
versatility of the palette and hopefully kind of give you some ideas on how to use it because there are some really really fun shades in this one that I'm really excited to use so yeah overall my thoughts are that this is a really nice palette I love the packaging I do love the pigmentation it does offer, offer a little bit of fallout that I'm not really a fan of but it's not a deal breaker for me so Yes, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this kind of gave you a better insight. If you do want to see more like photos and everything, make sure that you check out my blog post that I wrote yesterday so that you can see it a little bit more um, like close up and everything. And um, yeah, overall Coastal Sense is a good firm and I do recommend it. Um, I still, I tried most of their like eyeshadows and stuff. I still haven't tried their Hot Pots, which is next on my list. I'm probably going to place an order on th those ones really soon. So if you want to see like a review on that, I can definitely do it for you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you have any other requests or questions or anything regarding the palette or anything else, then don't forget to leave a comment down below this video or you can contact me through any social media that I'm going to have the links to right below this video. And I'll talk to you guys very soon in my next one. Bye!